In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clipping path in Photoshop. A clipping path is a closed vector path or shape used to cut out an image. So anything inside the path will be included after the clipping path is applied. And anything outside of this path that we create will be left out or clipped. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm in Photoshop right now and I'm going to grab my pen tool by hitting P on my keyboard. I'm also going to make sure that my paths panel is available so that I can preview my path as I'm drawing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a path around this line in the foreground and then I'm going to clip that path so that I'm not able to see the rest of the background or the other limes once I import it into Illustrator or InDesign. So let's start by drawing the path. And I like that when I'm drawing this path, I can look in my path panel and even see in real time this path being created. So I'm going to continue drawing my path with the pen tool here. And I'm moving kind of quickly. The nice thing about the pen tool is that I can always grab the direct select tool after I've connected the dots from where I started to where I'm ending. And I can grab the direct select tool and I can adjust these points and just make them fit a little tighter around the path. So I'll just do that right now. I'll grab the direct select tool from the tool panel and I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see I'm just going to kind of go in here and adjust some of these points. And I'm just kind of moving around my document here and adjusting some of these Bezier curves. So now we have this path that we've created. It's still not a clipping path, meaning that if I were to bring this into InDesign, I'd still see all of this background. And if we were to look in our, our paths panel, you can see we have our working path and we can see it here, which is nice. But the next step after creating the work path is to save the path. So I'm going to go to the menu flyout in the paths panel and I'm going to click on save path. And I say this is the next step because the third step will be to clip the path. But as you can see, clipping path is grayed out here. We can't do that yet. So first we have to make the path then we have to save the path and then we'll clip the path. Now when we select save, we can give it a nice fancy name. I'm going to call mine Lime and I'm going to confirm that. So now we have saved this path and now I'm going to go back to the paths panel, the menu flyout, and now look, clipping path is available. So it says clipping path dot 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 or ellipses, which means there's more to come and there is. So I'm going to click on clipping path and I'm going to highlight the path that we've created because we've only created one and I'm going to leave flatness at zero I'm going to let the printer handle the postscript on that meaning that if we were to have problems printing then we could go in here and maybe enter a value from 0.2 to 100 to see if that solves the problem but in most cases you're not going to have a problem with that these days so I'm just going to leave it blank and I'm going to confirm this by saying OK and check this out. If you look in the paths panel now, look how different the text looks. So it has this outline around the text now. This is what lets us know that this is now a clipping path. Okay, so we created a work path with the pen tool. We went to the paths panel and we saved the path. And after we saved the path, we applied clipping to that path. Now, if we look at the document area, we don't really see that anything is different visually. Okay, we only see that in the paths panel. So everything looks the same. But when we import this into InDesign, which we'll do now by going to the file menu, save as, and I'm going to save it into this folder here as a TIFF, although clipping paths these days can be applied to JPEGs and PSDs, uh, but we'll just do TIFF for now. I'm going to click save. I'm going to bypass the default options since these don't really affect how the clipping path will be viewed in InDesign. I'm going to confirm that. While that's saving, I'm going to slide over to InDesign. And while in InDesign, I'm going to place it. So I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to select Place or Command D. And I'm going to select my file and open it. 
and you can even see here when I'm trying to place this file you can see that the background the other two lines are still in the preview while my cursor is loaded even though we've applied a clipping path to it but as I place this file you can see that the background is actually knocked out by that clipping path so we applied that path to this line and we clipped it which essentially created transparency so if I were to move this over text or over this color background here you can see that the background is being hidden and I say hidden and not erased because if I were to grab my direct select tool and hover over this path you can see that the background actually is still there it's just being clipped by that clipping path that we created and that my friends is how you create a clipping path in Photoshop which will create transparency once you import that file into Illustrator or InDesign